Okay. So when it comes to generating leads, especially on social media, a lot of that has to do with the value you share in your content. So what, if you have a piece of paper, I want you to, if you didn't already, I want you to put focus on leads or leads over sales. I want you to put that on there because leads, generating leads should be your primary focus. So when you think about that, leads are just interested people or people in your target audience. So I guess if we're backtracking, do you know who your target audience is? And know your, tar your target audience is not everybody. Your target audience isn't moms. Your target audience isn't tired people. Gina, and I'm not saying this is Gina's target audience, but hers might be uh, overwhelmed students looking to create a side income because they can't work full time, right? Now, most people fear um, doing that because they think it's really going to isolate everybody else, but it actually does the opposite. Because here's the thing is when you're generating leads, you want to attract a specific audience, but it's almost like other people who aren't in that specific audience hear the echo of what you're promoting. And they're like, wait, what was that? Oh, okay. And they come on over, right? So if I'm talking to tired stay-at-home moms, I'm sure people who are tired nine to fivers will go, well, I'm sure that applies to me. That sounds like I could still benefit from that, right? But when you're talking about full-time working people, stay-at-home moms tune you out because they're like, that doesn't apply to me, right? So it's kind of like know exactly who you're speaking to. Also, when you know exactly who you are speaking to, sorry, turn that off. When you know exactly who you're speaking to, your content is going to be louder. As Tracy always says, you're going to be the biggest billboard on the busiest highway, right? Tracy, you don't have to write down your own quote. You probably already have it written down somewhere. Um, <laughs> so focus on leads over sales. How do you create leads? You focus on creating or offering value in your content. Okay. So that means all of us need to be crushing out content. So many of us aren't making sales. We're not recruiting. Our volume is stagnant. But if I told you, like, literally make loud content. Yeah. Like, literally, it's because our content sucks. Our content isn't speaking to the right people. Our content isn't specific enough. Our content isn't consistent enough. Our content isn't offering value. All right. And here's the thing. What value are you offering? What is somebody getting from your post? What are they learning? How is it inspiring them? Okay. That's what I mean by value. So did you just post a picture of your lunch and you're like, yay, staying on track today. I didn't learn anything from that. I didn't get any value from that. And as I don't want to say as shallow as it sounds, but I guess as shallow as it sounds, we need to be creating content like that because other people are viewing our content in that regard. They're like, oh, I'm not really learning anything from this. I'm not really gathering. I'm not gleaning anything from this post. Right. So offering value. So now I'm going to talk literally about how to structure. And there, there is a literal science um, when it comes to marketing, how to have an effective recruiting or sales-based webinar. And I'm going to use the word webinar, but it could be a live. It could be a Zoom that you broadcast to Facebook. It could be a literal webinar, right? If you have like webinar jam or something, um, Eventually, probably as we move into next year, we're going to talk about more elevated content like funnels, webinars, evergreen content that you can use to generate leads in the background. Okay. Um, but for right now, this is going to, these are going to be uh, active lead acquisition. Okay. I'm, we're going to get real technical. Okay. Active lead acquisition, which means active, like you actually have to be doing it. Okay. Um, and then lead, you're going to be generating interest and then acquisition, you're going to be capturing them, right? So eventually the goal as we transition into things next year is what do you think? We 
passive lead acquisition. Doesn't that sound better than active lead <laughs> acquisition, right? Like, wouldn't you rather be generating leads while you're sleeping than having to only be able to generate leads while you're actually on a webinar with people or while you're actually live online? Probably pretty nice. Wouldn't you like to create a video one time, master it using this perfect framework, put it on auto autopilot and let leads come to you? Probably. <laughs> right? But for right now, we're not there. We're just going to practice using videos, lives, IGTVs, whatever, right? Whatever you're comfortable with. So, and I would take notes because I'm not, I'm not done giving, I have it right here. I've written it down like the exact outline and like almost script. <laughs> um, so, but I would, I would still take notes, <clears throat> but if you can't keep up, don't worry. I will be sending this to you guys or I'll be posting it on the Thrive Army website or whatever. It is a literal script, Mad Lib style that you can fill in the blank with certain pieces, okay? But I'm just going to give you the framework for right now. So number one is your introduction. And I don't mean introducing yourself. Because here's the thing, you know, most people do, <laughs> the mistake most new marketers make or most new promoters or most new people to webinars is they're like, Hey guys, welcome. My name is Courtney. I'm a promoter with Lavelle, blah, 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 blah. That seems logical to us because we are us, <laughs> right? We are the center of our world. Do you think that's the first thing somebody else wants to hear? You have like 0.5 seconds to capture somebody's attention. Do you think the first thing they want to hear about is you? No, <laughs> right? So number one is the introduction right? But the first thing you want to talk about is them, right? So you want to say, hey there, whatever, not, hey guys, hey everybody. That's another big mistake. I even make it, right? We get like so caught up. Don't be like, hey everybody. Why? Because you need to speak directly to that person. Be like, hey mama, you know, hey entrepreneur, hey boss, hey whatever, right? They want, hey you, it's even better. Hey girl, hey you. They want to feel like I am talking one-on-one -on -one with Tracy, one-on-one -on -one with Caitlin, one-on-one -on -one with, you know, Heather. That's what they want to feel like. I am looking at Mikkel and I'm having a conversation with her on life, right? That's what they want. So you can just be like, hey, you. Um, and then she's like, I'm so glad you joined me today. Um, and then you want to like thank them for taking time out of their busy day, right? Um, it shows me that you're done if, and you, well, you want to get right into it, right? So on here, I just have like, I'm so glad you could join me today and take time out of your day to learn about whatever you're going to talk about, right? So for Tracy, it could just be how to structure your day using a simple to-do list. It shows me you're done feeling overwhelmed and lost in your day. And then it's just like, are you ready to talk about how to start structuring your day so you can feel less overwhelmed, right? Drop a yes in the chat. Drop a yes, you know, drop a yes in the comment section below. Blah, 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 right? You're already creating engagement. You're telling them what you're going to do for them right away, right? So you could even just talk about, you can use it with Thrive. You know, you could just be like, hey, you, I'm so glad you could join me today. Take time out of your busy day to learn a little bit about how I focus on my gut health. It shows me that you're done feeling bloated. You're done feeling stuck in your weight loss journey. Um, so if you're ready to talk about how to lose the bloat and get a fat tummy, you know, Put a, put a hell yeah in the chat section, right? Whatever the case might be. So number one is introduction and you're going to welcome them. Then B is expectations. You're going to tell them what to expect. You're going to be like, this isn't going to be an hour long thing, <laughs> right? You're going to tell them exactly what to expect and what the objectives are. So you're just going to be like, hey, in order to get the most out of this, I'm going to encourage you to limit your distractions. So if you're trying to multitask, I encourage you to pause and maybe come back to this when you're a little bit more focused, right? And then you can even just say, if you're gonna have to hop off, can you drop your email in the comment section below and I'll email you the live when it's done? Boom, <laughs> right? Now you have captured a lead, okay? And you're gonna be able to send them the link when you're done. You can just be like, hey, Tracy, I know you had to hop off because you had to do a uh, school pickup, but I know that you were really interested in watching this live when I was over. So here's the link, right? Or some people are gonna stay, they're gonna stay on, right? Um, then you're gonna say, during our time together, I'm gonna teach you how you can achieve all of, right, these things, whatever they are, you're gonna outline them, okay? 
you're going to outline what your objectives are. So you're going to be like, oh, Tracy, using, we'll just use this whole thing about Tracy using a to-do list just because it seems more congruent to stick with that throughout this whole thing, right? So you just be like, my goal when working with people is to help them use these signature methods. And you use that, use those terms, signature methods. You may think to yourself, I don't have any signature methods. Yes, the hell you do. Y'all eat your food different. Y'all cook your shit different. Y'all wipe your butt different. Y'all got signature methods, okay? Whatever it is. <laughs> so yeah, you can teach people how to do this better than I can. Um, so whatever is that, using signature methods, why that sounds way more attractive. I don't know, Tracy, do you go front to back or back to front? I don't know, right? There's a difference. So <laughs> um, there's, there's a signature method, right? There is. Um, why does the signature met you want to talk about that? Why? Because why should I listen to Heather make a to-do list versus Tracy? Are they different? Maybe Heather's way is better than Tracy's way. Okay. Um, so you want to talk about, you know, my signature method, uh, this has been proven to work over and over and over again. And then you can jazz it up. So this one just says giving people massive success and eliminating almost all of the guesswork. <laughs> so you're gonna say, okay. Um, so now that all of us are ready to start, you know, you guys have all limited your distractions. You said that you're here and you're ready. Let's get into it. I'm going to tell you the four things we're going to cover today. When you do this, you actually increase your watch time because you're telling people, this is exactly what we're going to talk about. Okay. And you actually want to save like the juiciest one for last. <laughs> okay. Because it gives people, it's like a cookie, right? It's like, if you can eat all your dinner, you can have a cookie. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is okay. And all of us, all of us are ready to start. And then you can just, you name your thing. You know, we're going to talk about, um, <laughs> um, you're going to talk about what you're going to give them. Like, what is the benefit? And then you're going to tell them what it will help them avoid. So you're going to list the pleasure it's going to give, and then you're going to help them. You're going to remind them of the pain. It's going to help them avoid. Okay. So you're going to be able to get so much more done and avoid the stress and overwhelm. Right. So you're going to be like, you're going to get this and avoid this. Okay. I cannot even read this chat. I am going to have to totally take this chat off. God, my ADD is going to be like, what are y'all talking about? All right. Let's go. Well, let me first outline my main points. Uh, I want to hit on. So, you know, if you're true, if this is truly going to serve you, if you be like objective one, right. You will no longer have to blank. Objective two, you're going to better understand blank. You're going to feel, objective three, you're going to feel blank. And then lastly, you're going to learn how to blank, right? So it's, um, you'll no longer have to do this thing, this other thing that's causing you stress. You're going to better understand how to do this. Okay. You're going to feel this kind of way because feeling people buy on feeling. And then lastly, you're going to learn how to whatever, right? You're, you're going to learn how to bring all this together and manage your day. So I can actually give you two extra hours to do more self-care. You're going to find four more hours in your day to spend however you want to, right? People are going to go, oh, sign me the hell up. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Already you can see that when you structure it like this, you haven't even told people who the hell you are yet. And they're already lining up to be like, I want to listen to what this girl has to say. I, I want to listen to Tracy teach me about to-do lists. I want you to tell me how I'm going to get two more hours back in my day. I want Laura to tell me how I can, you know, be less bloated and, and, and flatten my tummy. Oh, I, I want to hear how Mandy, you know, blah, 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 blah. And you haven't even said, I'm Laura and I'm really qualified to talk about this. You haven't even said that yet. All you've talked about is them, what you're going to give them, what they're going to avoid and how it's going to benefit them. So they're already bought in. Then this is the part where you introduce yourself. So it's credibility. Okay. So after you're in, in your introduction, you have welcome, expectations, objectives, and then this one is your credibility. So this is when you'd be like, so for those of you guys who may not know me, you can start with that. You can just be like, most people in webinars, 
I don't know if you guys have ever seen them on like Facebook ads or whatever. They're like, have you ever felt blah, 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 blah. Like you could blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm Courtney and I can book, right? So they introduce themselves after all that. So you can play around with this, whatever feels natural. But if you're doing like a live, you can just be like, you know, so for those of you guys who might not know if you're new around here or just in case you forgot, my name is Courtney and use your help statement, right? We talked about your bio. I help stuck entrepreneurs discover their genius and monetize their passions, right? Whatever, it is, whatever you can just, that's why it's important to know what your help statement is, right? So like, I'm Alicia and I, this I'm Tracy and I, this, and then you speak, like, I've helped blank number of people. And you want to get specific. I have helped 25 plus moms feel less tired, find more time in their day and struggle less with the mom guilt, you know, in the last however many months I have helped, you know, 80 people pay off their, you know, get, have their car paid for, do this, go on exotic vacations, do whatever, or whatever it is. Okay. It can be whatever. I have helped this number of people, specific people do this. And again, you want to say using this, using whatever it is you're talking about on this webinar, right? So for those of you guys who might not know, or you're new on here, my name is Courtney and I help stock entrepreneurs discover their genius and get paid doing it. I've helped hundreds, you know, I could say I've helped over 500 people discover what they're good at, use their social media to monetize their passions and get paid to make six figures, get their card paid for and do it all without cold messaging, right? So that's my promise. You can do it without cold messaging, or you can do it passively using funnels, or you can whatever. You can do X, Y, and Z in three simple steps. And right now you're not gonna describe what it is. You're not gonna like validate it. You don't have to get into specifics. In fact, the more vague you can be about your promise or outcome, product, service, whatever, the better, because you'll have more to talk about in the actual content, right? So you just be like, and I can help moms, blah, 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 get more energy, have better sleep, have a better mood uh, in three simple steps. They're going to be like, what are those three simple steps? Right? Well, that's what you're going to answer later. Then what you're going to do to emphasize your credibility, and this is going to be the hard part for a lot of you, because we were actually just talking about this in the chat is being braggadocious, okay? But you're gonna have to come up with four brags, an income or sales brag. And that can be something like, it doesn't have to be like, I've made $5,000 in one week. It doesn't have to be that, right? It can just be like, you know, we, you know, I've been able to generate uh, whatever. I've been able to pay off over $70,000 in credit card debt using this simple formula right? I have been able to whatever. Next one is a lifestyle transformation brag. The next one is a big achievement brag, right? So it could just be like earning a bonus for Alicia would be like getting in the magazine. It would be uh, a, a Tracy's like auto bonus. If you, for not even talking about thrive, it could be some recognition you've received. It could be a degree you've got, could, whatever. Okay. And then fourth brag is a cumulative brag. And the reason you want to end with this one is because you want to say, not only can I do this, 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 but I can help you and other people do this too. So a cumulative brag would be maybe like team sales, or maybe your team won something, right? Like cumulative, like you and other people did this awesome thing. And you want to end with that one because it brings the listener. I'm on it. Not right now. You're going to have to wait. Nope. Um, and you want to end with that one because it brings the listener in and they're like, oh, she can help me do that too. I could be part of that. I could be part of that cumulative brag next time she does something like that. Okay, can I turn the chats back on now? <laughs> and then you just kind of, now you want to transition. So now you want to be like pretty awesome, right? Um, but don't take my word for it uh, because anyone can say whatever they want on the internet, right? And that's when you want to get into the next part, testimonials. 
Now, if you're on a live, this might be, and you're not using like Zoom presentation or slideshow, it, you'll lose the visual aspect of it, but that's okay, okay? But you wanna have testimonials. So you can just be like, but don't take my word for it. You know, you can reach out to, you know, Heather. Heather said, you know, using Courtney's signature RCA method, I was able to save this many minutes a day and able to make genuine connections that didn't feel sleazy. Mikkel said, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm going to tell you the four kinds of testimonials you want to have. So all of you guys should go grab these testimonials from people and keep them somewhere. Okay. Make, um, Make a cute little thing in Canva with their picture, their name, and like a quote of what they say or whatever, but keep them somewhere. I want you to go keep them now, okay? Go get them and keep them for now. <laughs> because even when you're talking to people in the DMs, having these will be really powerful. So you need four kinds of testimonies. An initial results testimony, right? Someone who lost five pounds in their first week, somebody who got VIP, got their VIP payout in their first two weeks. Um, somebody who generated, uh, who, who, who did 25 samples in their first 48 hours, right? In initial results, initial results, I would think would be in less than four weeks. Okay. So you need for initial results because you want to show people this can be done and it can be done relatively quick right? Because that's what people want. They want to be like, how can you help me? And how can you help me now? Okay. So initials, re initial result testimony. Two is a character testimony. Who are you? What is it like working with you as an upline, as a coach, as a promoter, right? Like does a, is a customer going to brag about you because you just have an impeccable customer service, right? Who you are, she answers whenever you have questions, blah, blah, blah. Right. So, um, Character, so initial results, character, inspiration. So a testimony that's just incredibly inspirational. And then a big results testimony. Okay, a big results testimony. So, um, you know, Heather could talk about helping people hit rank advancement, um, whatever the case might be. The next part is handling objections. Again, if you're taking notes, I'm going fast. It's because I will, I will give this to you guys eventually. So don't worry too, too much about it. The next one is uh, <clears throat> handling objections. Why did I write this? Okay. And then, so now that you've given testimonies, you can say, you know, like, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, you know, Courtney, this sounds too good to be true. You're thinking, Heather, this sounds like it's going to be expensive, right? So you want to address the objections right away. So you, on here, it'll give you like Mad Lib style and you'll be able to insert three different possible objections you think your target audience might have. This sounds too expensive. It sounds like it's going to take a lot of time. This sounds like it's too good to be true, whatever. And you'll just, you'll validate that, right? Like kind of like the three S. So you can just say, you know, um, I know what you're thinking and you're not wrong in thinking that. In fact, these objections you're going through in your head right now are called, so blah, 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 right? You're going to validate it. Yeah, those are really valid. Those are absolutely, you've probably gone through them before. You've probably experienced this and you're right for feeling that way. And then you're going to go over the objections and we're not going to go through that right now because there's money, time, ability, confusion, fear. And so on here, you're going to pick like two that you think your target audience has, and you're going to go, you're going to address them, right? So I might pick fear and ability, right? I can say, so, so maybe you might be thinking, you know, Courtney, I don't have the skills to be able to build funnels and do, you know, a lead capture. That sounds really technical. And then I would overcome that objection, right? Sorry, going over here, scrolling. So then after you list those out, <clears throat> you're just gonna say, and if you think you're ready to learn all about X, Y, and Z, okay, because you will have overcome some of those objections. So now we're transitioning to the next part. If you think you're getting ready to learn all about how to uh, automate automate webinars and use funnels, and you think um, and you think you've seen something like that before, I can tell you that you're wrong. So you wanna tell them, I'm different. 
Okay. I know you're probably thinking that there's lots of things out there like this. I know that you're probably thinking, I could just go buy vitamins at Walmart. I know you're probably thinking, what makes this MLM different than others? I know you're probably thinking, blah, 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 right? And you say, I cannot tell you how wrong you are. And then you say, like, your minds are going to be so blown away by, and then you're going to list the, you're going to list some benefits. I would only list like three to five. Okay. And again, don't get specific. So on here, it's have like benefit one, how simple it is. You're going to be blown away. Like if we're talking about uh, the list, you're going to be blown away by how simple it is to make it. You're going to be blown away by how much more time you're going to be able to have during the day. Um, whatever. So on here you have like for Thrive, it could be how simple it is, how much support you're going to get when you join the team, how much money you can make or weight you can lose, whatever, right? You're going to go in and list the benefits, but try to be specific about the benefits of joining you or your team or using your signature method or whatever it is you're talking about. Again, do try to be as non-generic as possible because why, why should people be listening to, you know, um, to Brooke. I almost said Jillian. <laughs> Why should people be listening to Brooke? Why should they listen to Patty? Right? Why should I listen to Patty? There's lots of women out in the world that can cook. What makes Patty any different? Why should I be watching this live? What is she going to teach me? What is she going to give me? She has to tell me that. And she has to be thinking, well, I have to know Courtney's objections in her head. I have to know she's probably really busy and doesn't have time to make a grocery list. Um, I have to know that she probably needs meals that are really quick and simple, but she's probably really sick of eating the same shit all, all the time. Right. So she needs to overcome those objections, but she's going to tell me, I know you're probably thinking that you're going to have really in-depth recipes and that, you know, how simple these recipes are, how easy they are to make. You don't even need a cookbook, right? Already right there. I'm like, yes, tell me more. I don't want to have a cookbook. I want to have a simple list, blah, blah, blah. She's going to tell me how she can make this easier for me, but still get better results. So that requires you to know whatever topic you're talking about. It requires you to know what makes you different and better and how are you going to get them better results than other people using your signature or whatever, okay? Because again, you, can, you, you might actually, if you're not, if you don't really know your product or know your topic or know what it is you're talking about, you may actually do yourself a disservice because you're going to drive people to go find something better than you. If you don't do a good enough job telling them how you're the best, telling them how you're different. Because if I go to BMW right now and I'm like thinking of trading in my car and I go talk to our guy, Hunter, and he talks about how amazing this BMW is. And I'm like, wow, I am sold. But then he, but then he does something and he's like, yeah, it's going to be $86,000. I'm like, oh, <laughs> hell no. I'm now I am more educated about the BMW and I can go find someone who can give it to me cheaper. And I can avoid all the heartache of talking about it now. I can be like, nope, you can, I know all about it. You can give it to me for 70. So if you're not careful you need to make sure that when you're talking about the benefits and you emphasize you, you dig into that part where you can brag on yourself and what you can do and what you offer and make your selling point unique. Okay. Because if not, you're, you're just going to give people all this information and then go tell them they should basically take it to go somewhere else and get it for cheaper. <laughs> okay. And so the next is content. This is probably, yeah, I got you, Alicia. This is probably where you're going to spend the most of your time. But all you're going to do is you're going to <clears throat> figure out your content. So for Tracy in her list, it would be, um, she would break down how to make a simple to-do list in like four steps. First, you need to do this. Then you need to do this, then this, and then this. Okay. So for your three steps, what would a, what would a customer need to do? Um, you know, first they're going to, you know, decide what they want to do, decide what package they need to decide what their goals are. Second is deciding on a, a package. Third is, you know, whether they want to do auto ship or not. And then within each step, you're going to talk about the benefits, the costs, not like actual cost, but cost benefit kind of thing. 
And again, these are going to, this is going to go out to you guys <laughs> either in the chat or on the Facebook page. Um, and then lastly, and then so lastly in this section is you're going to create the vision. Okay. So you're going to say, okay, you've already given them the steps. You've given them what's unique. You told them what they can expect out of each of those steps. And you're going to say, okay, I want you to picture this. I want you to picture, and then you're going to paint a picture of what it looks like for this person to utilize all of those steps. This is called future pacing. You're bringing them into the future. And you're saying, look at what life could be like for you. If you did these things, if you partnered with me, if you joined my team, if you use Thrive, if you, whatever, use this simple to-do list strategy to simplify your life. They're going to be like, wow, that sounds great. <laughs> if you don't want to do that, if you feel like, oh, I'm not that great, then use your own life. Okay. But talk about yourself in like the third person, right? Tell your story, but as if you were telling the story about like something else, like once upon a time, there was the princess named Courtney and right. Like tell you, tell the story like that. After that, you're going to get commitment. And then you're going to talk about your strategy. And then I think actually next, next week, we're going to talk about the transition and the close because most people struggle with that. Most people struggle with how to go from talking about my thing to asking for the sale <laughs> and then closing them on the sale. And so I do not want to rush through that part. However, you guys have enough stuff to work with here to begin to build out your perfect pitch, your perfect webinar. This can be done through a video that you send. If someone's like, hey, I'm curious, you know, if you could tell me a little bit more about Thrive. One thing I used to have before I had a webinar, before I had a funnel, before I had any of those things, because I just recorded a video of myself basically doing this, basically pitching them in a video. And then after they watched it, I'd just be like, so what was your favorite part about it? What resonated most with you? What blah, 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 right? So you're probably going to have some work to do when it comes to filling in these blanks. You know, what is it you do? What's your expertise? What are those breaks? Gather those testimonies. Because next week, we're going to kind of put it all together. We're going to learn how to transition and close. And then I'm also thinking in October, what we'll do is we'll have like a master webinar launch where maybe we, we will all create some together and then we'll kind of do them. So that will be exciting. That way you guys kind of have it, you have it on hand. Um, and we can kind of, we know that you've gone through the correct steps and it really walks people through the sales process. So hope you guys, and it was really fast, <laughs> but I hope you guys found some use out of it. I hope that you guys can use some of these tips and tricks to, even if it's just remaining more mindful when you're on live, when you're on lives talking about it, or when you are doing like a, a live Facebook interview or something like that, you can kind of have this structure loosely in your mind. Um, and you'll probably end up converting more people or getting more leads or getting more questions. And at the very least, getting more engagement on your live and driving more traffic to watch it, to ask about it, things like that. So super exciting. Sorry, guys, I have to hop off. <laughs> it's just Tracy. Um, so I have to hop off. So I have another Zoom that I got to hop on here in a little bit. But uh, sorry to rush through everything. I had, we have, it's so much. <laughs> just so you know, I, did, I took like a 1400 page book and tried to like condense it into two Zooms and <laughs> a couple pages for you guys. So, um, I hope that, that that was useful. So anyway, I love you guys. Keep it up. I love seeing all of you guys um, stay strong and like keep motivated and everything, even after spirit week. Don't worry, we're still going to be doing those. We're thinking of doing like a Halloween one, which will be super, super exciting. Um, so yeah, that's super fun. But anyway, love you guys. And I'll catch you later.